Yeah. And uh, I think about that all the time. Heck, I, I like Jackie will like, whatever, give me bad news. And it's like, all right, respond well to this bad news or you won't get it next time. Next time you'll get, you know, something less mm-hmm. true. You know, mm. like I, I use it all over the place. Like incentivize you and, and, and respond the way that will give you what you're looking for next time through. Oh, I like mm-hmm. that. That's really smart. Good relationship advice. No shocker. Mm-hmm. Woody's full of it. He's he's lasted <laughs> this long somehow. <laughs> Not by accident. Can't the be. The secret is those cute ass backpack straps, man. All these years. Dude, she came yeah. in here. She loved this backpack. <laughs> <laughs> when she brought she's me like, the lemonade and the coffee, yeah. she's like, you look so cute. I don't like this I'm glad to see you it. double strap and it stay safe, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't want to like throw your shoulder out or anything. Like <laughs> I guess I would. I, 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 to this day, I don't know if I'm secure enough to fucking double strap it. I think I'd still throw that bitch on the right side and let her go. You know, I go I just, both just, ways. Like, it, it, like in an airport <laughs> or something where, uh, see, that's how masculine I am. I'll, I'll go both ways. Uh, but like yeah, at an airport Whatever or something, do I wear one strap or two? All these people will never see me again. They they typically don't know who I. I actually get recognized at airports, but like by and large, these people don't know who I am or, or don't care. And uh, I still mix it up. I might go one. I, I feel like if I go one strap, it's my own insecurity. I have a single strap backpack. It's like a it like goes you know across that way, like like fucking Worf from Star Trek, and uh, it just I don't know. It's pretty comfy. I I got sent to me a long time ago by a company that makes good ones. And I just kept it all those years. But I um, backpack. This, this I actually have my. <laughs> this is the backpack I use when I need one. It's by Ogio, and I th- yeah, I I've, I've seen it before. It used uh-huh. to be pretty dope. I, I love this backpack. Now it's pretty dirty. It's been a while. Uh, Joe Lozon is a backpack aficionado. He is totally into backpacks. He'll like go on websites and look at new backpacks. He's always got like the dopest, <laughs> most stylish backpacks. And he's the one that sent me to that. But now he's into like, backpacks. Welcome to Pimp My Backpack with Joe Lozon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we I know you do. like pockets, so we put pockets <laughs> in your pockets. I almost want to hit that. Up again. It's a trapper keeper. <laughs> we got a PlayStation 2 in the back of your backpack. <laughs> Yeah. Now you can play it and upset all the people around you at the airport. Mm. <laughs> oh, now your backpack, old oh, snack packs. You no, still not backpacks, but you rock it now. Show me the backpack you got. Because <laughs> he was always like, he was always current on like the the coolest backpacks. Current on the back. <laughs> yeah. You know the kids are wearing Jan Sport nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't you know, know about that. Have you seen this late this week's issue of Book and Bag? <laughs> 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 well, book and bag know, magazine that's, that's like a, a rich british of- guy <laughs> like with a coat on with a with a jazz have you seen hand? what eddie bauer's been up to my lord <laughs> i guarantee you if joe sees this he's gonna be like yeah i mean i i know backpacks i know what Tonight, more like smamps tonight. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having, having like inside jokes about backpack brands <laughs> for, for your backpack. <laughs> nice zipper <laughs> audience. <core. laughs> What's that Samson thing called? I, I bet like he knows like tonight. all the technical names for the parts. You know that little hook that's right in the dead center in the back that you would hang your backpack on oh. in shit school. I bet that's got a name. He knows it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet oh, it's just reinforced. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's a that's a carbide steel hanger. Things like that, riveted on. That's a wolf Ooh. nozzle. All that's right, and it's nozzle. double str- it's double Got threaded. A, a dope spot for your laptop. It's all protected yes. there, both sides. You can it's throw just... it down the stairs and only wreck your laptop, dude. I've <laughs> I've taken that backpack all the over. Right, will be fine. <laughs> and that backpack's where you want. In. I don't even know how many countries it's been in, but it like my goodness, six or seven. I I uh, I buy my luggage off of Amazon um, because I have this thought, but like m- one of my first flights ever, maybe my first flight ever, luggage, uh, Kitty's luggage got lost, and uh, and that that um, that struck me immediately. Oh, two things happened. One, the paintball company would not give me a free bag. Those cheap cocksuckers. Just saying. And um, and so I would never buy one because I'm not. Oh, wait, they did give me a free bag. That's right. Uh, uh, sorry, guys. Sorry. I forgot y'all gave me that free bag. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, people company will love that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> they'll be promotion. Um, yeah. Um, no, they did give me a bag. That's right. No, I always use that paintball bag 
because it, it was so overbuilt and like made to keep equipment safe in some ways um that it that was just and it held a tremendous amount it was a bit tardis like in that way but if i if I, obviously i don't use that for normal trips that's for paintball trips or like filming trips but if i'm just traveling i get the cheapest amazon shit i can i can find like really? like, like really like like i have this big orange cock sucker now that like you tap it with your fingernail and you can hear how hollow and weak it is and it shows up with skid marks it looks like someone took a fucking motorcycle did a burnout on one side no cracks no breaks everything's in there like like it doesn't come apart and i just like i don't know i don't have a use case for tough luggage because it's never gonna it's going in the trunk of my car onto the airport they'll do whatever they do to it i don't expect it to go well uh and then it's coming back to me but i don't put anything in there that i'm not prepared to lose i just damaged my oh yeah i, I linked it I, I just damaged my luggage and now i'm deciding whether or not i want to buy this thing or not i actually have one but it's all filled with my motorcycle stuff I need one for trips. And I have a strong preference for backpacks that have compartments. I like to move my dirty clothes or this clean clothes nice. into the dirty clothes afterwards. It's just too big. And I'm not sure if I really want to, like, I, for a weekend trip, goodness gracious, I could fit. You know like, what I want? For, for a weekend trip, this is beyond. You know what? I, it's a yeah, lot. Me, Do you see how short on, that handle on. is? That's because the bag is, like, waist high. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a long handle. when. That's a pretty wild bag. I, I was going the other way.